what's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteNext.com. So you've been asking, and now it's time for me to deliver. You want a leg workout that you can do at home. Maybe you're not able to get to the gym right now, or you prefer to train at home. It doesn't matter, guys. You don't have to be overly reliant on the gym to get those leg gains if you know how to do it. That being said, I've got two options for you. I know that not everybody has even access to equipment at home. So I have a zero equipment, bodyweight only version of this leg workout that you can follow along to. I also know that maybe you have some equipment, but not a lot. In that case, guys, we're gonna use just a few pairs of dumbbells to get through this workout. The key is that no muscle will be overlooked here, guys. We're gonna train not just the anterior chain and the quads, we're gonna hit that posterior chain that oftentimes doesn't get the workload that it should, and more importantly, we're gonna support all of that by training those often overlooked hips. So with that being said, guys, let's start breaking it down exercise by exercise. All right, so the way this workout is broken down is something called an apex workout, which is an anterior chain exercise, a posterior chain exercise, an explosive exercise, all done together. You then get a 30 second rest. You follow it with a corrective exercise combination, which a lot of times are never done here, but we have to hit those oftentimes weak hips. We come out of it with a 30 second rest sandwiched around that, and then we move on to the next apex circuit. Your workout consists of four of these circuits. In general, these circuits will take between four minutes and 30 seconds and five minutes a piece. So if you were a beginner and you did the entire four circuit apex workout, it would take you about 20 minutes. If you were more at the intermediate to advanced level, I would suggest that you do this twice for a total of around 40 minutes. All right, now more than just the number of times you're going through the entire workout, there's some other differentiators in terms of the beginners from the intermediate to advanced. The beginners are gonna perform each of these exercises for 15 seconds a piece. They're gonna take 15 seconds to rest and then move on to the next exercise and do it in the same fashion until they've completed all three of those. The people that are at the intermediate level are gonna perform the exercise for 20 seconds a piece with 10 seconds of rest. The advanced are gonna to have to go for 25 seconds getting just five seconds of rest in between exercises. Now when you complete the entire apex circuit, you get that 30 second rest I talked about and you go into your corrective circuit. In this case, you're gonna be performing two different exercises. We'll cover those in a second. After you've done both of those exercises for 30 seconds a piece on each leg for a total of two minutes, you're gonna get another 30 second rest and you head into the next circuit. The first exercise in the first circuit here for anterior chain is gonna be a squat. If you have access to a dumbbell, you would do a goblet squat. And again, we do that for the a lot of time I just told you. If you just wanna do a whole body weight workout option here, then you would simply just do an air squat. The posterior chain exercise is going to be the bridge march. If you want to use a dumbbell, you can, or again, you can do this body weight only. The explosive exercise is the swing, again, done either with a dumbbell or in a body weight version that still reinforces the same hinge patterning that makes the exercise so good in the first place. We move on to the corrective circuit, and I mentioned those exercises. The two that you're going to alternate between are going to be the Jane Fonda, which is gonna work that weak hip abductor. Lots of us do not ever strengthen this area enough. And we do this adductor slide, in this case done in one and a half rep fashion, meaning you go out, you come back a half, you go out again, and you come back. Remember, right leg and left leg for each of those exercises for a total of two minutes. You bookend that with one more 30 second rest, and you move on to that next circuit. The exercises in the next circuit are a dumbbell reverse lunge or a regular reverse lunge. A dumbbell sprinter lunge, or a regular sprinter lunge for that posterior chain. And then we're all gonna be doing jump squats. The corrective portion here just flips the exercises up, so this time the one and a half reps are being assigned to the Jane Fonda, and the regular adductor slide is gonna be done now without the one and a half reps. In the third circuit, your exercise for the anterior chain is gonna be something called the never ending squat. Here the idea is simply never to come all the way to the top, and to go down to the bottom and make sure that you're always keeping tension on your legs, never giving them even that brief reprieve at the top of a rep. The posterior chain exercise is going to be a hamstring RDL, done either with a dumbbell or without one. By hinging less at the hips and more forward at the waist, we're putting most of the work onto the hamstring rather than the glutes. But we're not done with them because we actually get that next with our explosive exercise. This is the glute power RDL. Here we're actually focusing more on hinging at the hips, which gives us more of a load on the posterior chain in the glutes themselves. You go back to the original combination you used for the first circuit on your correctives, and we head into that final fourth circuit where our anterior chain exercise is going to be the dumbbell reverse creeping lunge, where we're just trying to stay down the entire time, never coming up out of the lunge. You don't have to use the dumbbells, of course. That would be the alternative. The posterior chain exercise is a long leg bridge done once again, either with a dumbbell or without, entirely by weight, 
And our final exercise is something we're all doing here. It's called the sprinter plyo lunge. So as you're getting ready here to start this workout, keep one thing in mind. Even when you're ready to quit, think to yourself, geez, if Jesse can do this, I know I can do this. Why do you gotta crush my soul like that? Yeah. Just a little bit of extra encouragement. You ready? Good luck. And there you have it guys, a step-by-step -step workout you could do for your legs at home, two options to do it. Remember, you can continue to push yourself here, either go for a longer period of time on every exercise, or pick up those weights and add weight as you go. Remember guys, no excuses. If you're looking for a program that removes all of the excuses, it's called Athlean Zero, a complete bodyweight program, no equipment required at all. You can find that over at athleanx.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what I'm gonna cover, I'll do my best to do that for you. And also guys, remember to click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a new video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.